imagining. That's what vegans are. It's a whole fire. bunch of imagining. No, I'm telling you, a coating. No, I'm you. gonna eat it. It looks good, but I'm just saying it's a whole bunch of imagination. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. Oh, uh, can you bring three forks, please, Cece? You just gotta imagine. Or you already have one. Maybe just two forks. No, this is a spoon. Oh, so Open your buffalo sauce. Oh, that's buffalo sauce. <laughs> Is the buffalo sauce vegan too? Yeah, everything's vegan. Thank what? you. Okay, so take it and just dip it around. I can't believe you think this is chicken. <laughs> it's better than chicken. Mmm. Here you go with the bullshit. So good. What do you think? Is it supposed to be chicken? Okay, no, it's like it's like boneless wings but like you don't have to worry about like, eating like you know the veins and the chicken or like being raw or like just being nasty it's literally all cauliflower I mean I guess if I close my eyes and close my ears Heaven no. a little bit I can imagine it being chicken <laughs> oh, please uh, if you don't like no I mean it's good I eat the whole thing literally by myself Ugh, but does good. it but does it taste like chicken it's not really supposed to like mimic chicken, really. It's just like a substitute. Like I probably would still order this shit if I had to, if I could order chicken too. Mhm. Mm it's good though. Mhm. Mm and the batter around it. I think that's what it's doing it for me. I like the batter. Yeah. Okay, let me try a little bit of ranch, even though I don't eat ranch. Let's try right. a little dippy. You have blue cheese. Do I have? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to eat blue cheese. Not too shabby. Is it blue cheese or ranch? This is ranch. So. But it's vegan. Yeah. This whole the whole restaurant Wait, so what is does vegan. vegan mean? Just no, no meat? It's like no, no lactose meat. and yeah. no meat. So no milk? Mm mm. No cheese, no nothing. Everything dairy free. Everything is death. <laughs> no, so it's a lot. Well, like, they have a lot of, like, they just be leaving it out when they cook it. So, like, when we go to, like, crustaceans, he'll what? get, like... What the heck is that? Crustaceans? Have you ever heard of a it? A restaurant. Oh. Why did mm. you bring that? <laughs> <laughs> she literally poured it in that bowl. Because I accidentally poured the milk in. But why did you bring that I thought you just put milk? the cereal in poured there. It over. I just poured it in. Right now? Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to have extra milk in case I eat it. And I have the box in case I want more. Oh. <laughs> You're high for real. <laughs> <laughs> I always do that. Oh, no, man. The world just isn't big enough to get how much I want it. Not for real. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y'all ready for this? Okay. Mm-hmm. Ready? Mm-hmm. Hey, don't be putting your throat on that fucking microphone for that. I hear you swallowing that I shit. know. It's I'm, okay. Because <laughs> okay, I can mute tomorrow. that part if it's like... Mm. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. One, two, three... Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my podcast. Hey. Wow. Okay, everybody. Uh, we're back with another episode. Today, I have some special guests. You guys want to introduce yourselves? I'm Jade. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm having, but it's like, I'm like having a hard time realizing that this is like, I got to pay attention to my audio and my visual. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it, it's, it's not... Okay, let me just shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm having Marina, y'all, yeah. Yeah, so today we're going to have a fun little uh, first episode of me having guests. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really excited. We're going to talk about some... The girls' room. The girl. Oh, my God, that was what we called it. Remember with Gabby? Mm-hmm. The girls' room. <laughs> call it that. Okay. Like from the Amanda show. Oh. Enter the clip. The girls' room. Okay, did he think, think? Okay, you want to start it? I don't know. All right. We Crack got that. some uh, right Crack here. This is uh, cauliflower that's supposed to be a chicken or something like that. <laughs> so I don't know what. Yeah, she buffalo cauliflower wing wings. I told her if you squint a little, cover your ears, hold your nose. It's better than chicken, despite what. Then you might just imagine that it's chicken, but it's good though. I like it. I definitely would eat it, but like mm -hmm. ugh, just to give chicken. up. There's chicken. no hormones, no raw meat, no veins in it. You could just buy it into it with confidence. Confidence is so funny. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Ain't nothing like 39 grams of sugar. Heaven. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyways, so the first topic is going to be what's your love language? You can start, Sierra or Jade, whoever <laughs> wants to go. Uh, let me think. What does that exactly mean? Like, I feel like like yeah, what you want your something? like what you to like do. what makes you like what makes you fall in love with somebody like what makes you like like okay I'll start with mine. I think my love language is affection and buy me shit. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that because that's what makes me fall in love with you. If you love me, give me affection, attention, and buy me shit, and you're like nice to me. Yeah. That's like the trio right there. Like that's my love language. Oh my god. Mine is quality time. Like a lot of date nights, going out, going out to eat. Yeah, I think I said mine wrong. <laughs> Add that to mine too. I can't. Um, remember any of the things definitely you gifts. <laughs> gifts too, because I definitely like to get stuff. That, gifts. Yeah, like that. You think that like if you're out and you see something that you yeah. that reminds you of me. And it's nice. Give me that. Keep that's it. what I think, too. And I think, like, with that, like, that's why I be trying to tell people, like, I don't give a fuck what it is. If it's a fucking pair of socks, bitch, if you think that I would like it, get it. Like, that will make me genuinely happy. Even if you go to the liquor store and, oh, bae, I got this for you. Like, oh, oh I'm like, just mm-hmm. cute. Like, that's cute. I like that. What else? That's it for you? How about you, Cece? I don't know. I never experienced any of those things. But I guess I like I like like someone who motivates me like money wise and career wise like I guess I don't know like you know? what makes you like oh I'm in love like like compliments like compliments you like I, like I, that's why I'm saying, I don't know what to say because literally I never but get what would you like what would you like like oh, yeah. like it's like would you do you like what what is your love language not what is theirs what is yours so like do you like cuddling do you like Shit, do you like when people, you feel me? Like, what would you want? Like, that's that's your love language. What do you, I don't get it. Like, or we could ask her what what your dream type of boy would be. Like, okay, if you, you don't got one, boy. then we'll just go to the next one, and that's yeah. what it's going to be. Yeah, because I don't know. Okay. <laughs> next one is, what's your type? Okay. My my thing is, I don't really have a physical type like I do. But you gotta be like handsome, and not like a typical handsome, but like my kind of handsome. Girl, like, you like ugly niggas? No, no, like not. But to me, they're not ugly. Like I to me, no, they're to handsome. me, that's literally. You know what I'm saying? I like ugly boys. But like, but like to me, like they're. So I'm saying you're fine in my eyes, which is all that matters. So no, like, yeah, but not like. But she don't. I feel like you don't go for the typical type of like. Ooh, that nigga's fine. You I go, go for, for like nice skin, nice smile, tall, high for sure, and dress. Like, don't be. How about them pockets? Looking... <gasps> How about them pockets? Cause let me tell you my type. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> let me what? Tell you my type. <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, what what else? Um, um, handsome. Can't be a bum. Like, obviously. Mom. Yeah. Heavy on the... <clears throat> excuse me. Heavy on the... Like, you don't have to be no millionaire, but don't be, like, having all sorts of time all day to just sit around. Yeah. And not having your own shit, like... Don't be asking for rides. Having no motion for real. Yeah, don't be having... Don't be, like, you know... Just have your Where's little shit fork? together. Oh. Or... Just normal stuff, not no um. You don't have to be like bust down, Dread poppy, and whatever. Why Even not? That, that is like okay. Your type. <laughs> <laughs> it's your type, nigga. You go, cause I'm <laughs> <is> so crazy. <laughs> um. Okay. Well. My type is different because obviously I like girls, so it's a little different. But I don't think I necessarily put my type into one box. Maybe like what I would like is what I okay. So my type is pretty much like 
I like bitches. Short. I don't like short. <laughs> I don't like doing. short bitches. But, I mean, if you're short, that's fine. You can't be shorter hella than me, but, like, whatever. Like, I date girls, so it's not just easy to find tall-ass girls all the time. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, like, I like bitches that's, like, well, okay. There's a difference between the type of bitches I like and the type of bitches I've had. <laughs> so, literally. <laughs> oh, my mama. <laughs> okay, so Mark let's start choke. with the type of bitches I like. I like bitches that's, like, it depends if you're a stud or a fam. So, like, if they're a stud, I want them to be, like, I love me some dreads on the head. I love dreadheads. Um, I love actually all hair, but like you gotta have your hair together. You can't be having just looking any type of Ball way. Heads. Like, nah, I don't like that. You gotta have your hair together. Um, number two, let's see. Like, I like when bitches is like. They like to, like, take care of me, buy me shit. <laughs> like, you know, keep me up like they little princess or whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, put me up. Put me the fuck up. Mm -hmm. Untouchable. Untouchable. Like, I want. I'm, I like the bitches that I walk into the store and they just be like, you want that band? Oh, yeah. my. <laughs> you want that Balenciagas? I get you the Balenciagas. <laughs> you want that Gucci bag? I get you that Gucci bag. <laughs> <laughs> I like them type of bitches. I like boss ass bitches. Bitches with money. Bitches who are fucking hustlers. Like, not no bum ass bitches. Um, looks wise, I guess I have different types. I like dark skins, light skins, bitches with short hair, bitches with fades, bitches with dreads, bitches with long hair. Like, I like hella different bitches. <laughs> so you don't have really a type for real. I don't really got a type. Don't be but ugly and bald. That no, you could be bald, but don't be oh. ugly and don't be broke and don't be mean. I like nice girls that are funny like and nice can make girls. me laugh and make me smile and have pretty face. And if they're a femme, huh? Mm -mm. Go ahead and describe me. <laughs> Go ahead and describe me is crazy. <laughs> if they're a fam, like, uh, I want to say I would date either, I don't know. I don't know about, I, I, with fams it's different. Like, I like bad bitches <laughs> when it comes to fams. If you ain't bad, you can't fuck with me because I'm a bad bitch, like, I can't just be shitting on you every fucking time we go out. Like, we got to match each other's fly. Like, you feel me? So I need a bad bitch, badass bitch. And don't even, like, don't even try it if you're not bad. Like, I don't, when it comes to fans, I don't give a fuck if your personality's straight. <laughs> don't try it because it's about, like, I can't do it. You got to be a bad bitch. Because I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> Period. You know? Yes. Go ahead. Okay, well, wait. Okay, so are we saying the based on the people we had? Because no. we're like ugly boys if we're saying that. But like, no. What's your type? Like, what do you like? Like, if I if I could like make a dream guy right now. Yeah. Build the bear. If I could build a bitch, now that's a different topic. But go oh ahead. Oh my build, god. Build build your nigga. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, I guess like the things that I like, you could say. I really like nice teeth. Like even if your literally whole face is ugly, if you have nice teeth, I don't know. Oh why. yeah, I like yep. big lips. Yeah, I need them lips to be big. If yeah, your lips like is skinny, lips too. I can't fuck with a skinny lip ass bitch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then nice eyes. Obviously, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, I like guys who like do something like talented, like sing, rap, dance, or do something like just cool that I could be like. Wow, you're so <laughs> cool. Like, you know, it's like somebody who has money, gets money, tries to get money, tries to help me get money. Um, I don't know. What else? I forgot one, Cece. What? I like my bitches. Like, if you're a stud, I kind of like my bitches to look like they got a couple felonies. Like, I love... <laughs> I love bitches Bye. with tattoos all over their face. Like... All over your body, on your face, on your 
everything. I love that shit. Bring it here. Oh my god, bro! Did somebody get take this girl's mic? <laughs> bro, you don't yeah. like tattoos on the face? No, I never said anything about anything bad about tattoos on the face. I like, I like hard bitches. Cause I'm a hard bitch. <laughs> I can't do no hood ass nigga though. I could do me a hood ass. I don't, I don't ever want to do that again. I'm tired of freaking having to watch my back every. Two they give you too much like, to worry about for real. Yeah, I'm like, I love go to the grocery store without like. like hey, I'm what's that? What's like, like, or I love like, the adrenaline rush. Uh, yeah, till your car's kill getting me, shot kill up. me, kill me, kill me. Your car's getting I, shot up. I already had bullet holes through my motherfucking car. Mm-mm. Yeah, until it hits you and you die. Kill me. I can't be a mom. <laughs> just kidding. Mm-hmm. Never. I'm never just kidding. Again. I'm just kidding. I can't be acting so scared when they go out. Like, are you okay? It's happening. Mm-mm. That's the best feeling. No, I'm just That's kidding. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. That's terrible. That's it's a lot. Yeah, it's freaking scary. Your life is in danger every second of the day. Mm-hmm. You didn't even do anything. Okay, go ahead, Cece. You're uh, more of your type. Um, I don't really have type. I just like that's starting to look real good. Delish. <laughs> um, I don't know. That's it, really. I don't really have a type. I don't really talk to boys, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. What's your first date? Okay, actually, actually not. Date. Let's do what's what's your ideal first date. Even if you've never been on one, what what would you like? What's your ideal first date? What would you like to do for your first date? Okay, so okay, so it's kind of hard because like I'm like me and people know who I am. So like every time like can you pour me some of that? What that cereal in that extra spare bowl? <laughs> Keep no going. Milk. Whoa, what? No, oh, I thought you, there was no milk in this bowl. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> what was I saying? First date. Oh yeah. Um. So people like know me. So like, like one time I went out with this guy to just like, we were at my house and then we went out to get Chick Fil A just to pick it up and leave. And like people at Chick Fil A like noticed me and like were like, oh my god, is this her boyfriend? And it's just like, damn, I don't. This is my first time even talking to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? It's expired. Oh my god. Hey! Are you lying? By how long? <laughs> <laughs> Ew, when you was down, you ate like it was fresh. I've been eating for the past four days. <laughs> Let me see. No. No. No, wait, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Well, Y'all, funny. Sierra, this is her third fucking bowl of this cereal in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> this milk was expired over a month ago. <gasps> You're lying. <laughs> I thought that said serious. D-E-C, not O-C-T. <laughs> October 6th. Oh. 6th. Oh, it's my It's November 10th. God. It don't smell funny. I can't smell my. Uh, I just burped. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I don't even drink cow's milk for real. I don't either. I'm lactose intolerant. I just said I wish there was almond milk. <laughs> well, who bought this? Me. <laughs> but that's all that was left. No. Damn, that's Sierra. Do you don't be feeling sick? Your stomach? I feel sick. Oh my but I don't, god. That's your fourth bowl almost. Oh. Did it smell funny when you opened it? Is that why you looked? No, I just always check. check. <laughs> no matter what. Oh my god. Yeah, that. <laughs> my love finish it now. <laughs> I know it tastes good, bitch. It was so good, but I'm just high. <laughs> it, it was so good. Fuck. Oh, freak. I can't believe this. <laughs> well, how about the cereal? Oh. I, here. Probably stale. I don't even know. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, top part. Right. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Back to the regular schedule program. Sponsored by uh, ShopJearsBreak.com. I'm selling slippers. I have a whole bunch of animal slippers. I have shrimps. I have bears. I have a whole bunch of cute stuff. Go to my website. They're on sale for $10 right now. And if you buy... 
two, then you get them for seven ninety nine each. And if you buy three, you get them for four ninety nine each. So ooh, four ninety nine each. Yes. Ooh, I'll buy twenty. Yes. So uh, we also have toddler sizes. If you guys want to match with your kids and stuff, or get early Christmas presents, go ahead down to the link in the description. Oh, for Cosy Baby, some. they have brown shrimps. Brown and pink. Yeah, you guys know you guys always dress in brown. Oh, brown. But yeah, go buy something. Also, this hoodie, it's a little rhinestone butterfly. This is from my website, too. Use the code PODCAST for 15% off. Um, yeah. Okay, so what were you saying? I just ate that. What was I saying? You was talking about your first day at Chick-fil-A. That's not a first date, so let's get... What <laughs> no, do you- but I'm saying is I don't know what I would do for a f- first date because I don't, like, want the world to see me, like, on a date with somebody for the first time. Like, you know, like, what? okay, I've never been on a date. So, like, when you go on a date, like, do you, what do you guys do? Do you, like, act like you guys are together? Like, touch each other and on each other and kiss each other? Like, I think it depends on, like, uh, the vibe for us. Yeah. If you're really, like, feeling them, you're going to be a little close. Like, yeah, like, romantic. usually you're talking to them first, yeah. and then you go on a date with them. Yeah, but, but, like, but, like, I don't want my, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I would love to go out and do something fun and, like, stuff like that. But That's and, why like, you got to go to places where people aren't going to be, like, so that's why you got to up your, like, Make the nigga take you to motherfucking STK or something like that. What's that? Like a steakhouse. Like a nice ass place where it ain't finna be no fucking Sierra Sprague little like fans running around just you know like. Yeah. But also like I don't care to do like dinner. Like I gotta go do something like fun. Like mm-hmm. fun. so an adventure. So yeah, that gotta... that would be your ideal first date. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like something fun and mm-hmm. like go do something. Like an arcade type of vibe, bowling or like skydiving. Bowling, not skydiving. <laughs> have to, no, rock not, climbing. No, like hmm. helicopter ride, escape room Aww. probably or something like that. Nice. <laughs> a girl took me on a helicopter ride for our first date before. Wow. Over all of LA. Wow, I never been on a helicopter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was really cool. Okay, what's yours? Um. <clears throat> My ideal first day, I just want you to wow me. Like, show me why the fuck I should choose you. You get what I'm saying? Like, oh it's a gang of bitches lined up for me. Like, why should I choose you? Like, what makes you so special? You know what I mean? So, really wow me. Like, when that bitch took me on a helicopter ride, that shit wowed me. I was like, oh, okay. You did your shit. So, it's like that the first time, like, you meet them? Or, like, no, the first time? That was our first date. So we so already what's... linked, and like we linked and like hung out, but that was like maybe like I I think it was so the you first day. I hung out with no. them before it's a date. Yeah, but like only for the day. Like we hung it depends, out. Though. Yeah, it all depends. Like for example, like I don't want to say any names, but like we're barely gonna go on our first date. You know what I mean? So it's like. Even though we've been like going to other places and stuff like that, like top golf and shit like that, like we're about to go on a date date. So I was like, mm. oh, like a real, real. real. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Is that what it's like? I yeah, I would say so. Like for me, like I like I like the wow factor. Like let like do something like that's I'm gonna remember. Like the girl that took me on a helicopter ride, I'm always gonna remember that. Like for the rest of my life. You get what I'm saying? Like. Do something that's going to wow me or, like, make me, like, oh, I remember that day. You know what I mean? Like, even if I don't like the girl anymore. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> something that's going to stick in my head. Like, don't just take me to kick it at the crib. Like, that's yeah, not that's a date. Not even a serious day. Um, like, take me serious, bitch. Is that the type of bitch that you think I am? A kick it at the house ass bitch? <laughs> no. Take me the fuck out. <laughs> Anyways, what do you think your ideal first date is? Um, my ideal first date is <coughs> definitely... <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> definitely out to eat. It's like really simple because I feel like you can talk to yeah. that person a lot and kind of decide if you're going to even want to see them again. Yeah. So that's why I like dinner and then you can like <coughs> a little bit of a, like drinks and kind of loosen up and like, you know. I like eating chat. too. Yeah. And I love. And like, I love food to too. Eat. Like I love eating. So yeah, that's Speaking of food. 
Miss Food Over oh, Boys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, am I missing something? I'm like, um, yeah, well, my name is Food Over Boys, so that's why I always say a good first date is out to eat because my brand is shit, but um, shout it out, yeah, um, okay, <laughs> it's at why did I don't really want to do my site not up yet? Who cares? So Just fucking say it, okay. Uh, my brand is Food Over Boys, it's an all girls brand, we're dropping new stuff this month and early next month so follow me on instagram and tiktok to stay updated you know nice and but yeah um my but my my ideal like perfect world first date is definitely like i would say out the country and yeah that would definitely be because you can go out to eat out the country for real and a yeah, random person honestly i would do it but not if like we were talking already yeah, i definitely would do it like if i kind of like i feel so like, nowadays, like after you seen them already or no um, like literally the well, first time you meet them, you just go on a jet. Why I not? <laughs> well, it's like because what if they're li- what if you're, now you're stuck in no, another no, no. country nowadays with a person like, that's maybe a crazy psycho person. But nowadays it's like I feel like with Instagram and shit, you kind of already know the background of people yeah. before. I, like I'm not gonna say like I'm out on the street and I see a person that we have I don't know anything about. But like if we're linking like up, I probably talk- already know. Who even you if are. you're yeah. even if you're on Facetime all day, like. Like, you know how it is when you talk to somebody. But, yeah, I would definitely say, like, if we had, like, mutual friends and, you know, we kind of around from the same kind of way and we just end up talking and you'd be like, oh, let's go, like, and I don't, you never had no like, type of weird shit I heard about you or, like, no, sorry, arrest records. <laughs> it's like that, you know, crazy murder, <laughs> like, you know, it's like, why not? But, yeah. So do you think when you first start fucking with somebody, they got to tell you all their, like, history of, like, if they've been to jail? No, but I feel like if it was bad enough, you would know about it. And uh, if I, before I yeah, actually I was gonna went say, out with someone, I looked I them up know. on Google. You can kind of see if they have a criminal yeah, history. Yeah, me too. So you can kind of not be in the face of somebody you don't know anything about, like, you know. Yeah. yeah. That's why I would think. Girl, I look up their address, their mama address, their sister, their brother. It's not hard to, like, find it. Yeah, everything like I know everything about you before you even meet me mm-hmm. and then I'd be like they'd be telling me I'd be like oh <laughs> no way like so I already knew. your mom's name is Susie Ann like I already <laughs> knew where your mom literally I works know her at grandma's like, name <laughs> <laughs> like you know it. oh my mom Google is me. free so you could find out a lot of stuff wow from Google so like have you guys ever like ever like just like Okay, I never did this before, so I don't, like, never experience life that much. But, like, no. is it normal to, like, just, like, meet someone, like, on Instagram or something and just, like, just you guys just hang out by yourself? Yes. Yeah, you yes. all the time. Like, I never did that before. Like, how does it happen? Like, ha- like You say, you, like, hey, when are you going to live? Literally, my last relationship, we literally only spoke via Instagram and FaceTime. Yeah. In our first link, I flew her out here. And that was our first link. And she never left after that. Bro. Yeah. I met someone off Instagram, too, and then ended up hanging out and the rest never of the Never left. <laughs> like, that's how, that's how it'd be. Like, nowadays, I feel like you definitely can meet. Like, just one-on-one. one-on-one. Yeah. Well, the first time I met him, I that's brought how him. Like, I've, I've never met any of the people that I've messed with one-on-one. Like, it's always been, like, I've always been in a group setting, like, where I and met maybe, them. Yeah. And then, like, we kept being in the group setting and setting and setting all the time. And then all of them just so happened to just become right away. who yeah. I was mm-hmm. with. And then who I was with. Yeah. I cool. dragged Heaven with me the first time I met um a boy. The very first time. And then... To see he was no weirdo, and then after that, it was like just me. Like the very next day, it was just me and him. I'd be ready to meet them. I'm like, come on, <laughs> <laughs> come on. How are you not scared? Maybe it's well, maybe it's because so also too, I think it would be different for me if I talked to boys. I talk to girls, yeah. so it's like, bitch, I'll really beat your ass. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Try some funny shit. I'll beat the shit out of you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so. First day expectations, so like, how you expect the nigga to act? You you expect the nigga to pay for you and all that shit? Of course. Yes, thousand percent. I've never had a man pay for anything, so. Sierra, please mean, shut the hell up. I know you lying. I promise. You said anything? Like dinner? 
Not a single thing. Not even a bag of chips. I'm gonna have to find you a. That's love what I thing. said. I said you need to find you. That, and bro. I spent fifty k on my ex, bro. What was I saying? Not a single thing. What? Not a single <laughs> thing. What did I say to you earlier? What was that? What was in the phone? I said you need you a grown ass rich nigga like. Somebody that's really going, you going to see, you like ain't going to ever want to mess with a boy never, again. None of them even had cars. You're cra- I met girls that don't even look like you that be getting everything and more. And they don't even look like how I you be look. Telling like, her. Like, pretty. I be oh, telling her. I be telling her. stopped. Damn, how long ago? I don't know how long ago. Damn, I don't know when it stopped. But that sucks. That they got <laughs> cut off. Whatever. Okay. What were you saying? Um... Yeah, like what? That's insane. But maybe like you had the option to, but you never just took the opportunity. Like maybe you're probably like shy or you didn't want to take the risk. Yeah, like I yeah. You gotta take that risk, baby. I'm I'm telling you. (laughs) That risk gonna get you where you wanna be. Yeah, I don't know. I thought no. (laughs) (laughs) But for what? I was gonna say I thought that my last one was like that, but then it's... You said five, five zero zero zero. No, five zero. Five thousand. No, five. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> zero, 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 zero. Fifty. Fifty. Yeah. What did you get? Was that too much to ask? On e- anything, everything, and oh my voice, my, er, everything is that milk. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like literally, all our trips we went on, all our flights, all our hotels, all what? our rentals. Freaking every single time we ever got food. You need to sue all the that gas, man. Freaking For real. groceries. Like anything ever. I mean, and we were together every single day. And like it was just lies. No fucking <laughs> way. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Um, um what is oh, yeah, a I deal breaker? To... Oh. Oh, my deal breaker? Oh, just being too mama. fucking friendly. <laughs> baby mama, too friendly, and don't be, you can't be a social media nigga. So sorry. You can't be social media. They be doing What if it was a the, rapping ass nigga? That's different. But like, I mean, when I say social media, I mean like you're a TikTok, like doing like. I thought I wanted somebody that's like, uh, like doing it like like me. Like, no, it, I can do it. Like and then different. I'm just like, now I just. Don't I don't think I want. It's anybody not the way like, at all. I just want somebody who's in the house, but just don't. No, just shut yeah. up and don't. Yeah, for me, like five hundred followers or less, not even. Oh, like you need to be unknown, <laughs> not crazy. in the club and these bitches' faces all day in their in their phone in their oh, comments, was a in their dark. likes. He he's a rapper, but he don't give friendly to these bitches like. He don't get friendly. Then why yeah, India so, leave him? I, said, I don't know. No one knows, but he don't get friendly to me. That's why I said <laughs> I need me a she low don't key play man. Her, man. She I need me a fool. low key that don't be going out trying to be on the scene every day. Like his home wouldn't like no. You need to be in the house or at work making money, or we can be out together, going out of the country. Like that's it. Don't be trying to be out every night. That's so annoying. Like for what? You. For me, what? What is it? Deal breaker. Um, I cannot fuck with you if you do that. Uh-uh. I guess... I don't really have no deal breakers. I let it all slide. <laughs> How about Here, now? Please. How about now? Uh, no, uh, no, no money. Not, yeah. not having anything to do with your life. Like, I need Will you... Will they have kids? No. Yeah. No kids, bro. I can't do it. Bro. Cause baby mama's definitely be well, never giving, never giving it up. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. So I'm gonna give you a list of my shit. Next. Oh my I don't God. even. I don't even know what else. Just a bum. I don't want no bum. I don't want no bum. All right. Oh, and no fifty fifty. What's There's that? There's like going fifty fifty. What's that? Like when you split, split like bills and shit, or like split, you know, when you go out, oh, you pay this half, I pay the half, or we go half on shit, like, you know? She uh, want him to pay for everything, take care of her. Not take care of me, like, well, you know, that's not bad, but. That like, is what it's called. But it's like, as far as like rent goes, that's you. Is this not recording? <laughs> that's you. <laughs> <laughs> Press record on your iPad too, or it has no storage. Oh, okay. You guys, if I die and you guys have a baby, how would you say that? Can you guys name them after me?
What? Maybe a puppy. A puppy? <laughs> Oh. Bitch, I'm gonna name my next lizard after you, ho. <laughs> Where did my freaking crackers just go? Damn, I just seen him too. Shawnee might name his daughter Heavenly. He's having a daughter? Whenever he has a kid. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to like that nigga having a baby. It's like right she's now. pregnant. Okay, there we go. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Wait, so do I say my deal breakers now? Yeah. Okay. If you got a crazy ass ex, I don't even, matter of fact, I don't give a fuck if the bitch crazy. I, yeah, I don't want I don't care ex. about crazy exes. I care if you still be dealing with them. Everybody knows lesbians always be stuck on their ex. Bitch, I don't give a fuck about no exes. You better not have no fucking exes coming fucking with me. Bitch, you don't have no exes. You have me and that's it. Oh my God. Number two. <laughs> Um, deal breakers, deal breakers. Uh, to be honest, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna just say it. If you fuck with niggas, do not come trying to fuck with me. I will not fuck with you. Like, I don't like bisexual girls. None against y'all, but it's just not my, how you say it? Forte. Not my prerogative. <laughs> Is that how this was the right I word? Don't think so. I said forte, but maybe That's not preference. my preference. There we go. Like, uh, to, oh. If maybe, maybe I'm, I'm, I just might, but like, no, I don't like the <laughs> back and forth shit. Sorry about it. Three, um, if you don't have good sex, I cannot fuck with you. Period. I ain't finna teach you how to eat pussy. Sorry. <laughs> That's the deal breaker for me. You know, I'm an Aries. Aries like to fuck. And if you can't fuck, you gotta go. Number four. Hmm. You're trying to just mix up up now. Because if it's not something you're telling, you don't really care about it. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, next topic. Don't be fucking rude. That's number four. <laughs> don't be fucking rude. Don't be fucking rude. That's number four. I can't stand a rude ass bitch to me. Yeah. You could be rude to anybody else, but don't be fucking mean to me because I'll really cut you the fuck off. And number five, don't do drugs. Oh my god! Please don't do drugs, <laughs> cause I will not fuck with you. Weed is okay. Anything else? And you like on it, on it? I'll cut you smooth the fuck off, or I won't fuck with you. And don't try to hit me, bitch. Is <laughs> that <Ooh>. anybody? <laughs> <laughs> That's another deal breaker. <laughs> bitch, if you like to hit bitches, don't talk to me. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's y'all favorite feature on your, like, on your person? Like, what, Ooh, not geez. on your person, but, like, you what's your, for? exactly, what do you look for? Like, the ooh, first that's thing sexy as fuck. On the face, I, like I look for is the nose. You gotta have a nice nose. Mm. Like, the nose is, like, in the center. I love lips. Not gonna cap. I love lips. And, oh, if you got dimples. Oh, I like that, too. That's true. Oh. <laughs> dimples is not that big of a deal to me. They're nice, for sure. I like dimples a lot. And like, I dimples. love. Even if you're ugly and you have dimples, I'm like, oh, yeah. It I makes like a difference. It. Yeah. What? I know you see that. Like, thing. it do, but it's like. <laughs> I don't know that first for real. I do. I do too. That's like I first noticed that. Like if you have oh like dimples, like, oh my. You got nose to be right. <laughs> nose and height, obviously, because I'm sorry. You could you could be a millionaire, but if you're five foot four, I can't go for it. It's like it's just literally like it's just like a that's like I like absolute zero okay. nothing. I can't even guys I like me. Huh? So I've been literally dating guys shorter than me. <laughs> and all the guys I date are the same height as me. I don't know why. I okay, so I like tall bitches. Like I love bitches that is taller than me. And like recently, like I, I mean not recently, but like in my past I usually date girls who's like the same size as me or like maybe like a half an inch smaller than me. I'm going say like, short. Don't say taller. <laughs> no, but like I love tall girls. Like 
Oh my gosh, if you're telling me, because I'm already like, I'm a thick bitch. Like, I'm not no small bitch. Bitch, I weigh 190 fucking pounds, bitch. <laughs> like, I can't do the little bitches no more. Like, this, I can't do the small bitches no more. Like, what do you describe as good? Like, just that it, like, smells like, good and, like, tastes not tastes too crazy. Tastes good, smells good, real wet. Like, that shit was just. What would you do if you went on there, like, that bitch, like, just didn't, didn't get wet? It was just all spit. What do you do? It never, it, it never happened. like that. Yeah, but it's also, like, if a girl doesn't get wet, if I don't get wet, that's his fault. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, that. that's, why I, that's what I'm saying. That's that never, ever happened to me. She don't got good wet. That is you. your fault. I yeah. know I can get Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you can't unlock that feature. Yeah. Unlock that feature. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy on the if you can't unlock that feature, bitch. Because one thing about me, bitch, I will squirt my ass off on my mama. Wow. That shit will, <laughs> bitch, it will shoot across the room. <laughs> but it's some bitches that just can't make me squirt, and I'm a regular squirter. Are you? Really? I, I remember this guy. He yeah. Told me. Like every single time, type shit. This guy told me he was like. Oh, like, I wish you were a squirter. I'm like, you, okay. Just, like, all right, all right. Okay, like, you, slow. I know. I know <laughs> that you know <laughs> that we know <laughs> that he know. <laughs> Have you ever seen that little girl on TikTok that said that? Mm-hmm. Um, I think her name's, like, Stevie or something. That little girl is hella funny. But, um, anyway, what am I talking about? Oh, yeah, I can't do the short bitches anymore. Like, I mean, I could. Honestly, I could. I'm capped as fuck. But, like, tall bitches, they just make me feel, like, small. Like, they make me feel cute and small. Not like I'm just, like, a big-ass bitch. (laughs) Like, I got hella ass, hella titties. Like, I need to be, you you get what I'm saying? (laughs) Do you get what I'm saying? No, like, I do. It's just funny because I'm like picturing you next to a small. <laughs> but I don't, I don't fuck a small girl shit. Uh, oh my mama, I did it before. We'll do it again. But uh, tall shit. Mm. Mm mm mm. I wish tall I, and strong. I wish. I bitch, could throw have me over your shoulder. Strong. strong, like a tall, tall like. Like, but that's just never who I like. Like, yeah. I just like yeah, I don't go for skinny. Like, uh, like, uh, <coughs> like, yeah. I just don't. I don't even like the guys I be with. Why? <laughs> like, bro, sure, that might be so easy to talk about. Right. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't like the guys I be with. What? <laughs> I don't even like the guys I. Be like, with. I really don't. Like, I'm just thinking about it. Like, like why? Like, like that. That's not who I want to be with. What? It's okay. You just haven't met them yet. That's what I'm saying. You haven't met them yet. Or maybe they haven't been born yet because <coughs> these bitches out here being 50 years old with a 30 year old. So maybe you might Whoa. need to get you a little that's crazy. young thing. Or the old thing. She needs an old. <laughs> an old thing. She needs an older bitch. I'm older you. bitch or older nigga? I mean an older nigga. <laughs> Them older bitches is in style, baby. I never, I, I think every single bitch I've ever fucked with is older than me. Yeah, I think I, I might have, I think I do both. Yeah. Mine's like better than friends. Okay. You guys like getting hit from the back or the front? Oh my <laughs> God. Heaven. <laughs> bitch, go fucking love. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, whatever. They shy. They I'm not shy. shy. I don't care. Um, I like I like from the back unless like I'm like like in love with somebody. I want to like make love, but it's like from the front is not good unless like what? <laughs> Keep going. I'm just listening. It's not good unless what? No, it's still good, but it's just like like I like from the front if we're like making love, but I like to like get plowed. <laughs> All the time, like loud. Did <laughs> you wear a country girl? <laughs> what? 
Whoa. I've never heard of that. <laughs> never have I. Loud is the crazy. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> no, you're sick. Bro. It's... Y'all gotta talk because I'm not gonna stop laughing. Oh. This bitch. <laughs> oh my I feel it though. I feel it though. That is like, like hella funny. She said plop. <laughs> what? what? Is there mascara everywhere? No. I just wiped it off my eyes. <laughs> is it black around my eyes? No. <laughs> oh man. It's just not in my eyes. <laughs> oh man. shit. She said plow. That is really funny, CC. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> How about you? You don't care? I don't talk about that type of shit. I can't. Sorry. So you don't know if you like it in the front or the back? No. What? Both. No, you. No, you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, I think I like from the front and the back. I knew you were going to say that. I like both of them because <clears throat> it depends on what size we got. Oh, my God. Who put this girl? What? Seriously. What do you mean by what you mean by size? What size you get? You know, lesbians go to the store and pick their dicks oh, out. Oh, she. I thought you were talking about getting fellatio. You talking about sex? What's you fellatio? Head. It's oh, long. it's a fat, it's a fancy. Oh, one. you could get eight from the front or the, you could eat me from the front, back, upside down, <laughs> bitch. Touch the toes, whatever you want to do. <laughs> But, like, if we're doing that, mm-hmm. <laughs> then I the rather, strategy. I rather, I like both of them, but I like from the front first, then the back, because I, you know, I'm not used to just getting just loud. Well, <laughs> start in the back. I've never started in the back before, ever. Yeah, that, that sounds crazy. Starting in the back, just yes. straight. Starting fresh, in the back. <laughs> freshly bent over pussy, just <laughs> starting for the back. is crazy. Well, I guess actually now that I think about it, like I've been just like bent over, but not like in like on the bed. Just like, okay, I don't know. <laughs> All right, anyways. <laughs> that was a surprise question. Um, <laughs> do you guys go through phones? Yes. Yeah, it's such it's so embarrassing to even say. I don't. I'm not embarrassed. I will gladly. Cause like I shouldn't even be with you if I looked at your damn phone. Like to be honest, like, my no, last relationship, I've never went through her phone. Why was you scared? No, I didn't want her to go through mine. <laughs> 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 nah, nah. I just didn't go through it, and I don't like bitches to touch my phone. Don't touch my phone. Yeah. Don't go through my phone because at that point, it's like I just be feeling like. We share every fucking thing. It's like you're one little sliver And that's of this is my thing. only thing that's like yeah. mine. Like yeah. this is my shit in here. Like it don't be no no sneaky shit. It don't even like, have to be sneaky shit. It's embarrassing. Not, but it's stuff like to your your sister, or your friend about, or like little shit that you just don't like. That's talk my about. only like, privacy that I yeah. even have. Like when you share every fucking thing else in the whole fucking world. But if you're secure, you're not going to want to go through their phone. Yeah, and I didn't want to go through her phone ever either. Like, I wasn't just like, oh my God, I'm going to go through this bitch phone. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I would just be like, I'm not tripping. I'm not sure if she ever went through mine. I don't really care if she did, though. <laughs> but, like, I don't ever do that. Unless you steady checking mine, I'm going to check that shit, though. Yeah. Or if like, you, you give, keep if you give sneaking my shit. Or, exactly, or if I have a check. reason. But. And most of the time, every single time I check and have a reason, I never, I, my reason be <clears throat> correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I always go through phones because, well, I've never been in a relationship where I wasn't, like, getting cheated on. So it's like, I was <laughs> trying to figure, oh my God. I had to try to, that's where my receipts that I needed to see were, <laughs> to, to see the info I needed to see. Yeah. But, like, I've, I've never cared, like, like all my boyfriends have my password, they 
could go through yeah. my phone. Like, I've never had to hide anything ever. I've never, like, even, like, cheated or texted anyone else or, like, never had anything in my phone that I didn't want my person to, or didn't want them to see. Yeah. Other, like, other than my camera roll, like, there's, like, so much embarrassing stuff in there. But, like, if and you're going through my phone, you're not really looking through my I phone. I got a question. Okay. okay, so it's probably going to be different for everybody, but, like, when you get in a new relationship, do you delete old pictures of your last relationship? No, I no. have every single relationship I, in my phone from 2015. I have like 20,000 pictures and it's just like, it's literally, I just hoard all the stuff. I don't feel the need to delete shit. Like, yeah. it don't mean nothing. It's just like, I have 269,000 photos. I have every single picture, every single video I've taken. Oh Ever God. in her life. Ever. Yeah. I just don't think there's a need to delete. Like, if you're not like reminiscing about it or like not missing that person, like yeah. just be in your phone. I'm not gonna go look for it or like check mm-hmm. for it. Yeah. Just be in there. Like. like one time, like it's fucked up because like like for example, one time I deleted everything from this girl and the girl ended up passing away. And it's like, damn, now I have nothing yeah. to even see of like you know, just like it don't mean it don't mean I gotta miss the girl or like reminisce about shit, but it's just like it's just a time yeah, in your no, life, a time no, in my no, life that yeah. I wanted to yeah, go back to and like just sometimes. see about. But it's like I really can't anymore. But like, mm. yeah. you know, that's why I'm so happy that my life is like documented online because I could still like Always even if we weren't friends and we never like if I would have deleted all our stuff, bro, we'd be so sad right now because we just sat here and watched all our videos that we don't mm-hmm. even remember anything of us happening literally like, okay to y'all what is considered cheating anything that she wouldn't do in the other person's space is considered cheating I that's feel like. a good one that is a good one, one. Really? Wow. that's I a good one i never heard that before <laughs> that's yeah. really good yeah. oh i'm gonna say that <laughs> Bitch, would you do it in my face right now? Yeah, that's so that's what I consider yeah. cheating. Because oh, you know it's good, that's wrong. Yeah. Why are you doing it? Oh, wow. That's a good one. I can't even say nothing better. Than that. <laughs> right. All right. Well, that's what we think too. <laughs> would y'all take a person back after they cheated on you? I did, but not anymore. Yeah, I have before, but now it's like I wouldn't because at the time it's what you wanted, so it's like you probably still want that. And you can't really change anybody. I so. would never take somebody back if they cheated on me. And it's just unsanitary, too. You was probably putting your mouth yeah. on them and shit. And I'm not playing about STDs. Yeah, I would it's never take real. somebody back if they cheated on me, to be honest. Um, if you're fucking with... The only, like, situation I ever had is, like, this bitch had another bitch. But it was, like, she had something going on and I kind of knew about it. So I was still kind of fucking with her, knowing that she had a bitch. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like, that was on me, on my behalf. Mm-hmm. But, like, bitch, if we was together and you just cheated on me, I'm never talking to you again. Yeah. yeah. It's disrespectful. Yeah. It's no respect. I can't do it. Um. Hmm. So how do I say that? What? Um. How do you feel about... How do you feel about... Somebody spending money on you, um, or like your person, or like anything. I feel like spend that motherfucking cash, break that motherfucking wallet, break the motherfucking bank, whatever you want to do, put it in my pocket. Spending, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> spending not money kidding. is like that, obviously a perk, but I feel like I I like when they more so spend money on important things, like for example, like. My business for like my brand. Yeah, yeah. Like invest in me. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, if I need to buy my inventory, I think that you should be willing to because it's something that will make me better. Mm-hmm. So I think that, but obviously, like you know, a bag and shit is nice too, and I I do like that. Yeah, but it's really important that you care about what I care about, which is like my business. Exactly. Or like, or like even like my hair done. Like I want to yeah, look good. Yeah, so like get my hair done, done, get my nails done, make me feel <laughs> good. No like, one has ever like. That's it's so crazy. sad to hear. I literally, that. it's so sad to hear just you guys just talk about all the good stuff you had, and I'm just no, like, no, but I just feel like you. Definitely, what, what was you I in? Not, I was not in a relationship. I was in a relationship with 
with myself. Uh, no, like, I did not gain anything. You don't. From that. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like you don't. You you don't. You never fucked with a real nigga before. Like you yeah. never fucked with a real nigga. Before. Like yeah. I never got. Oh my god. That's when you once you once you get a real man in your life, real mm-hmm. you're gonna be, look at the other people like. Make your nose turn up, like don't even look my way because you know what you could really what's really yeah. out there. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like I just don't know that. But it's good you it's good you went through that experience because now you know what to look for and what not to look for. Yeah, so you you're just not can't gonna settle ever Yeah, never. you're not gonna ever settle again. So now you know like what you are capable of or like what you can or what yeah. you attract. Yeah, you know, like so. for example, like for me, like I like to get spent on like I like I like that shit. I like that shit. I feel I, like it, I would like it if it happened to me too, but I yeah. can't say I like it because I've never experienced no, it. No, it wasn't but, always like this though. For like, I've talked to niggas that never, how do you say never? That I talked to niggas that I think didn't do enough, in my opinion. Me too. You know what I'm saying? So and I, like, and it was like it was like I went from a bitch that did every fucking thing for me, like. Literally, I've never even had a I could literally say, I could literally like, say, gotta, I could literally say, I need my hair done. The bitch gonna drive three, four hours if I needed her to pay for the hair, pay for the nails, pay for the lashes, drive me all the way back in the same day. My man would yes no. go grab me that water bottle on the table and bring it back to me. <laughs> But see, it's just like you gotta just attract what you want for real. Like, but then I fucked with a bitch who. Didn't do none of that, ever. Ever. I feel like people. Yeah, it just. And I still like, fucked with her. I still liked her. I still loved her. But you gotta like talk but to people that have their shit going on. It's like, like I now I know like I tried that like okay I'm gonna fuck with somebody who don't treat me like that and I did it and it's like I love the I the other one. Huh. Like you love. No, people. no, it's not even that. Like, I'm saying I tried to talk to a girl who, like, wasn't like that, like, didn't buy me shit, didn't, like, you know, like, have me like that. And it's, like, I still liked her, but I liked her for her. And I still liked her, but it was still, like, damn, like, you mm-hmm. can't, like, come on, bro. I've been having the same fucking shit this whole year, and you ain't still ain't bought me some. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's, like, I could buy the shit myself, but that's not the point. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just feel like, like you gotta just be what you want to attract for real. Yeah, and now I will never do that again. I will never. I promise you, I would never ever do that shit again, ever, ever. But you gotta got to have your shit together because I'm not that type of bitch. At the end of the day, I am not that type of bitch. Yeah. Well, I bitch, also think you that... have to come correct if you want to fuck with me. At the end of the day, but we are not it, regular there's bitches. A, there's a difference between like someone who can do it for you and it's not versus someone who. Who um is can't do it for you and it's not like you know what I'm saying like mm-hmm. you gotta kind of pick like if you see someone that you know can help you or take care of you or like be there for you or what's the word um provide yeah provide for you then obviously you know but then I feel like some people like if they can do it and they're not that they're just showing that you're not really worth their you're like really yeah you know yeah. so because I talked to someone that like they they have their shit going on but it's like at that time I wasn't my best self so yeah like, it wasn't like you know. No, but the person, no, the person I was with could do it and just. That's when you gotta. That's when that. you gotta look at them crazy as hell. And yeah. Like, could more than way more than me. What? Than, yeah. See, no, that that is just sounding like a parasite. A uh, almost. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Would you guys ever do long distance relationships or have y'all? Yeah, I have, and, uh, like. I feel like if it can grow in something that's better, then you can always end up going, you know, I'm the queen in with of, them. I'm the queen of long distance. If you live in Germany, bitch, I will fuck with you no, still. No, it's but still a certain But you just got to be ready to, when I want you to be, you got to be ready to get in that motherfucking U-Haul and pack it on up and come on. No, but that's I, not long distance. That's you them coming from a long distance and then yeah. being with you. Well, yeah. I did long distance before too, and we just went back and forth, but we went together. Yeah, yeah, but that's not long distance. That's long distance. Long distance is like, you're is not like really when, seeing them physically. Yeah, it's like if you were messing with someone from freaking New Jersey and you only get to see them like once every like month or something like that. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I don't have to do that. I could come see you. Yeah. <laughs> 
So you, know you, so you wouldn't do long distance. That That something. is long distance because my house is here and your house is there, but I'm going to come see you. But if you couldn't see them why that often, why? let's say they're like in the army and they're like, de- they're deployed. You can't go over there. Well, I wouldn't mess with somebody so you, who so does you, that. Yeah, so you can't do long distance. You will. You need to be physically in front of it's them. Long distance is like when you don't get to see them physically. You're just on the Talking phone, all the time. Talk, talking or you the see phone. them like once every six months type shit. Six months is crazy. I don't think that's the definition. A long yes, distance? Is. Yes, it is. You're like in a traveling. Di- you're in a yeah, traveling. Yeah, that's like you're just getting people from different countries. But, <laughs> but long States. distance is like so. you're not seeing them. You're not having day nights. You're just on the phone, texting, Facetime. I did that, but like we. But link. for an extended time. No, but we link and we make time to see each other. Or let's say you had nine to five, and so did she. But On I average, couples but. in long distance relationships will visit each other 1.5 times a month. Yeah, or that's even more than I thought. Once even a month. if you visit once a month, it could be a week once a month. <laughs> you don't gotta be a day. I need to take a shot. It stress me out. That <laughs> one, honey. But I would never. Well, it's like right now. Before, like everybody I dated, like was with me pretty much every single day. Like moved into my house damn near every single time, or like. When I would go with them, it was, like, at their place. And, like, we would never leave each other. We would never do anything without each other. But, like, now, like, I have a busy-ass life. And I could never, like, be with a person 24-7, like, like ever. Like, because, like, they're just going to distract me from what I'm doing. And just, like, I can't be with you all the time. I need a break. And you need to go do what you have to do by yourself. And yeah. Your own, you shouldn't have all stuff. that time on your hands anyway. Yeah, exactly. Like, you shouldn't just be my pet dog. Like, Try to you have to go... Yeah. Do handle your shit yeah, your <laughs> but i feel like it doesn't really get that well to me i didn't really get that serious until i actually like was able to be with them all the time but as far as like long distance for real, i feel like if you like them enough you can do anything yeah oh, so you're saying it didn't get serious until you like we like, didn't look appreciate until like okay well yeah. like we're together for oh. just because like what if we're doing all this and then we move in and I don't really like you, like I don't like you for real. Yeah, like exactly. that would fucking suck. So yeah. Can your person have a girl or boy best friend? Like the opposite sex of them. Or like whatever they like. Fuck no. Fuck no. <laughs> Absolutely not. And I that opinion just changed, but no. I think you can have a girl best friend because I have like, for example, that's like you gotta think about it like this. Like for me, like if they if they was like that, if my partners was like that, I couldn't be friends with Primetime, Keisha, T. You get what I'm saying? Because they're all uh, studs. Like, I mean, for me, it's different because, like, straight girls and straight guys is never really a thousand percent platonic. It's always going to be like, and I'm just saying from experience. How, like, though? Niggas like, be- what, how about, like, for example, me and Shawnee Sean? Okay, so I always thought that because I have a best friend, Cam, it's never, like, it's net like, we have never, ever seen each other like that, never even had the even thought of never, even, never, ever, never would be, never, never <laughs> would ever that happen. But now that I moved out here and I have a lot of guy friends, I'm seeing, like, if I had a boyfriend and these guys, like, you see, I would yeah, not you... allow these the guys to be, like, like, my best friend or, like, any of, like, yeah. And girl best friends, no. That's what I'm saying. Girl best friend is have a girl just... best friend because them girls really want to suck it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like at the same time, it just be the kind of girl like she is for real. Like you just never really know for real. You never. A know. lot of like my friends too. Like a lot of my stud friends, they be like, they like girlfriends. Sometimes they be like, I don't know if they feel some type of way about me or something. But I be like, girl, do you even know your own girlfriend? Like this because child how they, <laughs> how they be acting how they be acting in real life there's just always gonna be that little like sense of like jealousy that mm-hmm. can't go away like no matter how hard you try to push it back in your mind like you can't push you can't push anything past anybody like someone's I always think they can have girl something. best friends but it's like i gotta really know the bitch like for example when i was fucking with oh girl oh and you yeah but it's like so it was like I was kind of like you feel me like yeah. I had to come into it like with an open mind like to see first you know so I gotta know the bitch and like see what's going on it really is like a case by case question but exactly real. like if I if I don't like if I go and see you and I don't fuck with it I don't feel the vibe I'm sorry you can 
yeah me or your friend i don't know but either right now i'm i'm gonna say no i just can't but then again like i i do trust like whoever i'm with i like i will have to trust them too but it just be them girls to be trying to Girl, be sneaky on the side i'll say this one little drunk night or one little you know accident slip up and he's just gonna you know you just, anything could happen so Damn. But that me having a boy best spot. friend, bro, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She, she's had oh, a boy best friend. friend before. Yeah, and it's like, it, like, you know, it just, it just depends, okay? It just depends who it is because you can have a boy best friend and, like, you could be the most, like, you know, uh, trustworthy, but it's like that boy could have uh, intentions with you or whatever, yeah. so. You just like never me know. Me and Cam never been like that. And then I had another best friend, a new best friend, and then we started talking after because I did. See, you just never know what could happen. That's what I'm saying. You and you already said like it started out nothing gross, nasty, mm-hmm. and then one day all of a sudden it, it became romantic. So yeah, that's why I say avoid that and just say no. Mm-hmm. Save you some time. It's crazy. If I was gay, I think it would be. I don't know. I would probably still say no. <laughs> It just depends. Yeah, I mean, I, it all depends to me too. Like, uh, so you would let your girlfriend like have a, let's say she's gay, but she's exactly your girlfriend's type. Can they be best friends? I guess so. You say yeah. If they came already, like, with them, like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like they were doing like sleepovers, going out of town together. Not, I do that with not, my friends though. Listen, so it's like a, I can't not I new, can't say that like a new girl person. No new girls. But I don't already, know you. It has to already come with it. Like a month before she met you. I mean, I don't know. I do it though. Like yeah. I could go sleep at Primetime's house. I could be in the bed with Prime Time. But it's like okay, but you gotta think like they gotta And it be, will never Is she your type though? Fuck no. That's what I'm saying. Let's say, but a but I type. feel like I don't know if I don't know if they would be my type. I if, feel like all your friends aren't your type. But even if they were, like I wouldn't look at them like that. If you get what I'm saying, mm. like like no, I'm saying like they're they would be my friends, so they would ar- automatically have that friend, like just like you, bitch. Just because you're pretty, uh, yeah. like, I would probably date a girl that looked like you, yeah. like, a femme, but I would never look at you like that. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's how yeah. I look at them. Yeah, that's true. Like, yeah. do you guys understand me? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like yeah. <laughs> but, like, yeah. just like no, that, I know, like, I know. bitch, we could, yeah, but all it's day. never finna be that. I could do that with Primetime. I could do that with Keisha. I could do that with Fatima. Yeah. I could, like, you know what I mean? With Buki, like, it don't matter to me, but, like. I don't know, like, with, they gotta come with it. Yeah. And already have, like, history. Already, like, you gotta, I don't know. Yeah. Cause it's like, that would be like, what if I would be mad that you and what's her name was slept in the same bed together? How crazy would I sound being mad at that? So crazy. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I just think, I, I couldn't allow my boyfriend though to to do that with a girl. Yeah, Not but it's, it might be a little bit different for you. But yeah, like, but I think like it's something like if I was gay, probably I think I'll look at it different too. Cause like girls and girls have a different vibe. Like you know what I'm yeah. saying. But a boy and a girl is always gonna be a little something. I could there. sleep in the bed with Shawnee Sean. Yeah, yeah that, I could, that's I sleep in the bed with Cam. And yeah. if like. Like, oh, that sounds bad. I <laughs> if I had a boyfriend, I would expect Cam to still be able to sleep in my bed. Like, even though he's a boy, like, but like my other guys, that would not be okay. It's you know? But like, like, for example, Shani Sean, we used to do all of our parties, literally every single one, and then go back to the house and both sleep in the same bed. But like, not on a weird shit. Like, but is it because you're the gay? Only, like, that's the know? only place to sleep. No, that's because that's like my brother. Like, yeah. you feel me? Like, I would ne that's weird. Like I would never and he would never like ever like yeah. you feel me? And I don't know. I just feel like I think it's a level of maturity too. Yeah, like it we're not laid up. Yeah. Nigga, you're on that side and I'm on this side. <laughs> but it's you know the maturity and security cause Or bitch, your head's over here and my head's face the other way. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. 
on the other, other, other. Cause bitch, I need my own blanket too. <laughs> 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 but yeah. I ain't finna sleep on no motherfucking floor. It definitely depends. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely depends. But um, any other questions that's popped up to your guys' heads? Mm, let me think of one. Oh, do you guys believe in like gender roles, like as far as like cooking, cleaning, laundry that women should only do, um, or is it more like of a well? In I my mean, situations, I, I was the one making the money, so I was like, if I'm making the money, like. Like, I have to make the money and pay for everything, and I have to cook, and I have to clean, and I have to drive you, and I have to take care of you as a Damn, kid. Damn, you yeah. somebody's mama. <laughs> Every time. Every <laughs> single, like, literally. So I they had to do the mom. shit. They had to do the cleaning. No, but you. they didn't. That's oh. what I'm saying. I was doing everything. <laughs> yeah. Doing nothing. So it's like, like, I don't know. I'm used to doing everything. Yeah. But I wish I didn't have to. Like, yeah. But, like, I would rather, I don't know, because I don't like to. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I That's what I was about to say. I, I don't have time to cook. So, like, if you cook and I'm, like, going, doing, and making the money and out and doing everything I need to do, like, like, I don't know. You know? I, like, I like my girls to be, like, I like them to cook for me. I like them to clean. I like them to, but if they was, like, for example, say they had shit to do all day, like, but that's the thing. I can't just be a stay at home bitch. Mm -hmm. I, I literally can't. You mm -hmm. feel me? But if I was, if I could, I would just be a little stay at home bitch. And I guess I'll keep the house together. <laughs> no, I can never be. But that, that defeats my whole career. Like, but yeah, no, that's I what I'm saying. That, I like, couldn't yeah. do that. Yeah. But, like, I can't do that. I can't sit up here and take care of you and be home. No, but that's not I, if they're taking care of me. And I guess like. I, I just like them to do stuff for me, too, because that's why I don't like cleaning and cooking and all that shit. Like, you could make, you could cook for me, and I've had a bitch that did that. Yeah. Clean, cook, bitch, <laughs> make the money, and I live my career and make my money, and we just have a blast. What about being submissive or dominant? See, with me, it switches. Yeah? Yeah, like, to some people, I'm real dominant, and I wear the pants. And some girls, I'm just like, yes. What we'll makes you, like, submissive, though? Like, is it someone that, like, I, is... I feel like off rip, like, it comes with it. Like, you already know, like, you already know what's up. Like, mm -hmm. if they, like, I don't know. I feel like you can feel the vibe. But what do you think would give them the authority to make you, like, be submissive or be dominant? Like, but, like, how do you true like how does that come into play i feel like the energy just comes like uh i could give you a good example like or even sometimes too like i mess with studs and fans so like most of the time sometimes when they're more masculine they like to be more dominant yeah but that's not necessarily true but like well, if i fuck with a girly girl i'm usually the dominant no. one like <laughs> bitch but like I fucked with studs who were more. I wore the pants and I told them what to do and yeah, I, I was ran them. Say you sound like you ran them. Like they, <laughs> you were the dominant one, even though they were like. Yeah, but well. that's just because I have big energy and I'm an Aries. Oh my god! Yeah. But like, it's some girls that I like want to be submissive. I want to be submissive, but bitch, don't take it too far because it won't get you that far. Yeah, like in my past, like relationships, like we had a problem because he said I wasn't. Like being submissive to, him, being submissive to him and like not listening to, cause like he was just like. Did he give you like a reason to be? No, but submissive? that's what I'm saying is like I can't be submissive to you because in order to be submissive, I need to trust you and trust your be path, secure, and yeah. you can't provide me that. You can't secure. I can't. I don't have like. He's not guiding you in any yeah, direction. Yeah, exactly. I'm like you're leading me to a path of nowhere. How could I ever put my whole everything to you like yeah. listen to everything you say and to do and i'm just like no like, like I, going also nowhere. too i feel like i'm never just submissive like completely but i'll be submissive when i'm getting fucked <laughs> but like other than that like i'm never just completely submissive i don't feel like but like i'll listen a little bit but i don't like to listen yeah yeah you know i don't <laughs> listen bitch I will, you will tell me to do something and I will do the complete opposite just, just for fun. <laughs> like, just cause, cause bitch, who is he talking to? If a guy was to like pay you guys monthly, would you let him 
do whatever he wants, like cheat and everything. If it was giving you like thirty thousand dollars a month, but he you couldn't question him or nothing, you couldn't ask thirty thousand is a little bit low. How about fifty? Yeah, no, you, you could do whatever. Wait, so <laughs> what does that do? Like, what is that? If it was a like, let's say he was like, okay, like you're my bitch, and I'll give you this thirty k a month, but you can't ask me where I'm doing, where I'm going, who I'm with. Do I have to be loyal to him? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll do it for fifty. I'll I was do it doing for it for 50. free, so <laughs> yes, I'll take that money. I was doing it for I'll, free. I'll fuck with a bitch for fifty for bands a month. <laughs> do whatever the fuck you want. Actually, I might do it for thirty. To be honest, <laughs> I'll do it for thirty. I was doing it for free. Ah. I was just doing that. That's hilarious. We'll settle that for you. But like, no, that? but now not. not that like means ten bands. Because... Ten bands a week. Yeah, he's giving to you. You can't. Oh yeah, wonder. go do. Live your motherfucking <laughs> life, nigga. <laughs> Go nice. live it up. Because let me tell you, with this money, I'm going to have a blast. <laughs> a ball. <laughs> and just because you ask me what the fuck I'm doing, and you but think it's like, I know. Then at that point, it's like, I already know what's going on, but this money is like, there's... Like you already, <laughs> I already know that you're cheating. Like I feel like I, I get so mad being in a relationship because I didn't know they were cheating. Like if yeah. like, when I was getting cheated on, and I was like, it was already known, and like I was getting rewarded for just like nothing, yeah, nothing. Yeah, just, I don't know how that goes. <laughs> that is crazy though. If you think about it. Okay, do you think that's long enough? <laughs> Did you guys think I was frozen? No. Girl. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um. Well, that's it with the podcast, y'all. I hope y'all liked our first show. Sorry, there are so many technical difficulties because I don't know what the frig was going on. It was, it was so bad today, but I promise next one's gonna be better, and we're gonna have our lives together. I just couldn't. It was just. All bad today. Make sure y'all go subscribe to my OnlyFans. Uh, and mine too. And and uh and her. Follow too. me on Instagram. It's follow me on voice. Follow me on Instagram at Heavy Marina. Make sure y'all go stream my motherfucking music. Yeah. Me uh, too. And at Sierra Sprague. My cash app is dollar sign Marina sixteen. If y'all want to <laughs> send me some gifts or whatnot, like. <laughs> If you like me, man. Also, go buy something from my website. Like I said, the slippers are on sale. Go buy some stuff. I got some new merch coming out soon, too. So, yeah. If you guys want more podcasts with uh, me and Heaven and Jade, or just me and Heaven or whoever else you guys want to see on here, let me know down below in the comments. Also, let us know what you guys want us to talk about. Some topics, some... Juicy like stuff that. too, y'all. Okay. And if y'all want to sponsor us all three with, um, <laughs> if y'all want to sponsor us with wigs or something or like anything like that, let us know and we will wear whatever wigs you send us on our next podcast. <laughs> Emails will be linked in the description. And we'll even wear a shirt with the name of your brand on it. <laughs> Send them motherfucking wigs. Yeah, <laughs> anybody that needs a sponsorship, small brands, any type of people, big brands, if you guys need any promo ads or anything like that, just tap in with the email, sierspreak at gmail.com. And yeah. All right, that's it for the podcast. Make sure you guys um, go a, read your Bible. <laughs> yeah, and write a review on the App Store. It's now, all my podcasts are now on all the services on podcasts Apple Podcasts, Spotify iHeartRadio, all the podcasts. So if you guys want to listen to the audio, go over there and listen. And yeah, see you guys next time. Peace. Bye, y'all. Bye.